So this here is a uh, is a uh, an uh, educational uh, session for uh, about the powwow and how the powwow came to be and what 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 the protocol is when you do come to a powwow. So it's all it's when we first start this, we start with a prayer and and a, a song and then it becomes a ceremony. These dancers are here to dance for this creation, the trees, the life, and the life of the people, and the ones who are unable to dance, the ones who are sick with illnesses, the, the children, the youth, the adults, the, the healers, the teachers, the dancers, the singers. And uh, they, they're, they're basically in ceremony when they're dancing. So it's all, their regalia talks to what specific dance they are. There are you know, grass dancers, there are jingles just dancers, there's traditional dancers, there's fancy dancers, there's like all categories, uh, children to adults to older people, right? So it becomes a, a ceremony. <laughs> My role here today is to kind of uh, like show off, kind of exhibit my uh, dancing style of uh, grass dance. So I, uh, I think it's really important to show um, other peoples and you know everyone, all, all types of uh, people to kind of see the first style of dance that we kind of had here in North America. Uh, I think it's really interesting and uh, I think it can really diversify you know, uh, everyone's kind of opinion. And if they get to see this kind of thing uh, happening at, you know, in their schools, um, I think it's good for education, I think it's good for reconciliation and taking those steps forward. Our Indigenous Student Success Team has worked very hard to uh, have our first annual powwow event. Uh, this is National Indigenous History Month and by way to kick off the month we want to celebrate um, and recognize the strength of Indigenous communities. Um, we. Uh, greatly value the wisdom that we have through partners in our Indigenous Education Advisory Committee and we're thrilled to bring culture and uh, celebration today. First of all, a gorgeous day to have a powwow, my first powwow, uh, and I will tell you that uh, I think it's probably the first powwow we've had in Bracebridge and uh, kudos to uh, the staff of uh, Bracebridge Muskoka Lakes uh, Secondary School in Bracebridge here for organizing this event. You know, uh, it uh, words mean uh, little if there's no action behind it. And of course, uh, you know, uh, we have truth and reconciliation. We have a recognition of, uh, you know, trying to uh, uh, right wrongs of the past and continue to listen to our Indigenous uh, brothers and sisters and, and understand. And uh, very pleased that, uh, you know, we have the opportunity today to join with our Indigenous friends uh, to uh, participate in ceremony, but also to have the opportunity to expose young persons and persons all of uh, all ages to uh, Indigenous culture in our community.